Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to P-Dubs Arcade Loft, and on today's episode we're going to do a really quick tips and tricks video showing you some troubleshooting for your at games like guns experience, and we're going to show you all that right after this. <laughs> Okay, everybody, so all of you have seen the Light Gun Support User Manual. This has been uh, linked in my prior videos. I'll put another link in the video description below uh, for this, as well as if you're on the At Games Facebook group pages, this is also in the Files section of all those group pages. And you need to make sure that your button assignments match this diagram exactly in order to... Um, in order to make sure that your light gun works for the majority of games out there, right? Now, the Ultramark configuration software is kind of a pain. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in our our light gun is plugged into our PC, and we go we went ahead and we opened up the configuration tool, which you should have downloaded when you uh, first uh, got your light gun. You'll notice that I do match, right? Now I've seen in the past where you go to make um, where if the when you go to do your original setup I've seen in the past when you hit apply changes and exit it actually doesn't apply the changes and save so here's here's your tip and trick guys so what you want to do is go ahead and I just flip this for demonstration purposes go ahead and set up your button assignments hit apply changes close out then go back in and make sure that everything is the same that it should be. Don't change anything else, right? And if it does, you're good to go. Okay guys, so if you're very, very confident that your button assignments have been saved, you're in a good spot. So you know that these particular button assignments will work with most light gun shooting games. What you can do at this point is you have two options. Number one, we can move over to the Legends Ultimate, or number two, if you want, right next to the the apply changes button on the bottom of the aim track configuration tool is an option to calibrate and what you can do is you can mount your IR sensor above your PC monitor click on calibrate and it'll have you pretty much do the same steps you've done on the legends where it'll have when you click on calibrate it'll have a mouse pointer go to the top left then to the top right and then to the bottom center of your PC monitor screen. Some folks have reported that if they have done the calibration on their PC first and then also calibrated on the Legends, for some reason it does work better for them. You can give that a shot. I personally have not had to do that, but it is another step you can take if you're still having issues is make sure your button assignments are mapped, make sure they saved, then click on calibrate right here and test your light gun on your PC. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's head over to the Legends. Okay guys, over on the Legends now, when it comes to your IR sensor placement, hang it over the edge of your marquee. You'll notice here on this particular shot, uh, you'll see that about a third of it, almost a half of it, is hanging over the edge of the marquee. Sorry about the herky-jerky camera movements. Uh, because they're both black in color, it's kind of hard to get them to pick up on camera. Uh, but yes, you're going to want to make sure that your IR sensor is hanging over the edge of your marquee, not flush against it. That way it will shoot down at a good 90 degree angle and make sure you capture your light gun as it shoots at the screen. Now I know we all love our GRS Tron sticks. Glenn's Retro Show did an amazing job putting this together for us guys. But as you can see here, you do get a blind spot on the bottom of your screen when your Tron stick is there. You do have a dead zone. And it's even worse if you have two Tron sticks there. You'll end up having two blind spots towards the bottom of your screen. Um, in my opinion, it's not that big of a blind spot and I haven't had to remove it. But just so you know, that's what can happen with it. Okay guys, now it's time to get this bad boy connected and calibrated to the Legends Ultimate. You'll notice here, my gun is just going left and right, it's not moving in circles, it's not calibrated because we reset everything on our PC. So of course you're going to hold down the two red buttons on the side, and it's going to put the dot in the top left. You can put your arms out in front of you, hit the dot in the top left, hit the dot in the top right, and you'll notice what I did there with my cheek. 
I went ahead and I pulled the gun in close to my face. I was had the gun up around my cheek, fired, and I was able to hit the red dot on the bottom of the screen without an issue and get it locked in on the first try, guys. So let's try it again, okay? I'm going to go ahead and hold the two red buttons in, stick my arms out, hit the top left, stick my arms out top right, pull the gun in closer to my face, kind of aim down a bit, and boom, locked in again on the red dot on the bottom of the screen. And as you can see here, I'm making little loop-de-loop -loop figure eights. We are locked in. We are running. We, got, we have it uh, going the way we want it to. And that seems to be the biggest problem that folks are having is trying to get that red dot on the bottom of the screen hit. Now let's go ahead and let's take a look at a couple of games. Uh, quick thing to note, if you do have the correct game ROM for Alien 3, uh, the way you get this game going is you have to go ahead and hit the menu button twice. And when you hit it twice really fast, it will put the coin in trigger one. And for game player one, then you just simply squeeze at the screen and you let the opening video play. And after the opening video plays, you're able to then um, go ahead and just start firing away, as you can see right here. And Let's go. here we go. As you can see, uh, we're tracking, we're moving, we're shooting everybody the way we want to. Now, when it comes to a game like Terminator 2, all you have to do is hit the start button once, aim off screen, press your two red buttons on the sides of the gun, and you should be good to go. You'll notice we have our cursor, we're locked in, we're tracking, and we're able to kill these darn Terminators as they, uh, as they try to wipe us out. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, no issues. Uh, what you'll notice is when you go to start particular games, there's something goofy to get some of them started so when it comes to Terminator 2 you gotta press start aim off screen press the two red buttons you should be good to go when it comes to alien if you have the right ROM you hit the menu button twice to map the coin to player one and then you go ahead and shoot at the screen and that game gets up and running and now when it comes to your exity games guys a lot of the old classic exity arcade shooting games completely work and are compatible with the at games legends ultimate provided you have the right rom and of course use the main 2003 light gun core when you first stick your flash drive in and go to play the game for the first time let that initial loading screen with the rom checks go let it do its thing let it do all its rom checks and then when at the very end when it says press start you're good to go you can go ahead and press your start button and the way you do that is you just simply press the two red buttons on the side of the gun that's your start button for exity shooter games oh. press the two red buttons on the side of the gun that's your start button and then you aim at the screen oh. and shoot and say hey i just want to play uh one player now of course uh, let me see here. I can't let this video end without hitting these. There's one and two. Boom. Okay, so as you can see, it works. It tracks. We're good to go. Okay, guys, there you go. Hopefully that quick uh, tips and tricks. We covered about five key areas. Hopefully that will get you up and running. One last thing I forgot to note earlier in the video, I forgot to mention it in my voiceover, is whatever room you're in, don't have bright lights pointed at your infrared sensor. Make sure your infrared sensor is in a... You, you saw the, the lighting in my office, just natural daylight, and it worked just fine. But if you have it in a room and you have all these bright lights pointed at the light sensor, that could also interfere with it. There you go. Hopefully these tips and tricks help. Let me know in the comments below if they helped or if they didn't. We would greatly appreciate your feedback. And as always, guys, thanks for hanging out upstairs with us. Thanks for tuning in to P-Dubs Arcade Loft. Hope you hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next video.